Oh my god, I forgot about this story. Please tell me you didn't read this Pokemon story. I didn't read the Pokemon. I story. guarantee it's one you're going to be interested in. This is I've shared a lot of mind blowing or uh, let's not use mind blowing. I've shall I've shared a lot of crazy Pokemon stories over the years. This is the craziest. And the best part is you're going to love it because it really has very little to do with Pokemon. But it has everything to do with Pokemon. All right. A 34-year-old man was arrested for allegedly building and detonating homemade explosives. For weeks, locals in the area had been hearing and feeling the effects of explosions in their neighborhood. And they're like, what is going on? Beavers were obviously concerned. One night at 3.30 in the morning, a kaboom went off. People called the cops. They're like, another one of these explosions happened. I think it was over here by us. Must have been that beanie. Up there. <laughs> cops came out to check it out. They're walking through the woods. They find a crater, a fresh crater blown in the ground. You know what else they find? A bunch of Pokemon cards scattered around the crater. They're like, what the hell is going on here? That's when one of the officers that responded to the scene was like, wait a minute. A few days earlier, he had arrested a guy. The guy's name is Jeremiah Burnett or Bernay, if he's French. Um, Jeremiah was arrested a few days earlier because he got into an argument with somebody in his hometown. They're arguing about whatever. We don't know. But it was a very heated argument. And at one point during the conversation, Jeremiah looked at the other guy and said, boom. Just looked at him and said, boom, and then left. A couple days later, the guy who was told boom, he goes out on his front steps, and there's a single Pokemon card sitting on the front steps. And this guy's like, what's going on? So he calls the cops. The cops go arrest this guy because he's threatening this guy. Fast forward to a crater in the ground with Pokemon scar cards scattered around it. And the one cop is like, we arrested a guy and we found Pokemon cards on him, but we didn't think of it, anything of it because we're like, whatever. Now we find an explosion hole with Pokemon cards around it. It's got to be this guy. So they get the warrant to search this guy's house. They find tons of homemade explosives and packs and packs and packs of Pokemon cards. So they're like, obviously this is the guy. They go back to the guy who's already at, uh, who's already in jail, and they're like, "Is this you?" He's like, "Yeah, I, I built the explosives." He gives no reason for the Pokemon cards. Oh goddamn! What's going on? <laughs> Was nope. this just his like literal calling card? Like what? I'm the Pokemon bomber. Did that? But that I'm, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Did the did that explosive that made the crater? Did that go off after he was arrested? Yeah, was that he was in jail when that went off? That's kind of he. Uh, maybe he was let go by that. You know, he was a put in jail. Maybe oh, he wasn't. Okay. Maybe he spent a night in jail and they let him out. Okay, because it was only he. You know, threat. They didn't originally arrest him because of anything bomb related. They arrested him because he threatened because he other left guy. a card on. Uh, yeah, they got in a heated steps. argument. And he said boom to the guy. But how would you know, like? If you got into an argument with somebody and then the next day saw a Pokemon card on your stoop, would you think that was related at all? I don't think I would. Well, you know, I get into a fight with somebody. He tells me, boom, and walks away. I'd be like, eh. and then I would not two be days later, Pokemon a random Pokemon so. card shows up on my stoop. I don't, I don't know that I'd be like, it's definitely that guy, but I'd be like, I might Maybe say something about this guy. Bumblesaur or something. Yeah, maybe it was Voltorb or some explosive Pokemon, and you're like, oh, no. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just the guy called because... Man, that's great. And Now, we don't know the exact timeline, so it could have been the guy was threatened with boom. He called the cops right away. They took him in. He spent, a nail, uh, he spent jail, or he spent a night in jail, and then the next day when he got out, he went and left a Pokemon card on that guy's front steps. Maybe that's how it happened. I don't know the exact timeline. All we know is this is the guy. He's leaving Pokemon cards at his explosion sites or blowing them up, and we don't know why. What? I need to know. I need an interview with this man. It's not like he was using them to build the explosive devices. He's just, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, and I love this story so much. Uh, I have to admit, uh, it was 
it was an entertaining Pokemon related story. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we caught them all. The Poke Bomber. There you go. You're right, TKO. That's it. Um, I oh, man, I love this story so much. I do uh, too. It had a lot of uh, twists and turns. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, one of those stories. I'm sorry, do you like a show that ends? We don't have a story that ends here. It's a it's a what if. 